This level looks like something straight out of a Kaizo hack. Alright there, mate, how you doing? It's Speed here. Today I'm going to be tearing down the hardest levels in one of the hardest two games in the series thanks to Luigi's slipperiness and a very strict time limit. Who thought this was a good idea? Anyway, let's go, mate. Yeah, that's the face of a smug little git, alright. This level's gimmick is these huge bots that can crush you, and bearing in mind, crushing is an insta-kill. And even aside from that, these things can easily push you into one of the many fire bars everywhere if you're not careful. I've really gotta love the second star coin here. It looks like you have to time when to go in and out, but it turns out there's an area up here you can hide in, and you may suffer some nasty burns if you're not careful on that third star coin. Sure, the fight with Lugdweed is piss easy, but getting there is anything but. Luigi's slipperiness in this game can cause a lot of issues in this game. And where this really shows up is with tight platforming, like with bouncing off these brambles. For the first star coin, you have to bounce off this moving bramble into the P-switch, which is easier said than done if you don't have a power-up. And if you get hit and lose your power-up, you then have to bounce off several of these, and slipping up at any point here will cost you. Same with the second star, because the blocks are tiny, not to mention a bramble can easily get in your way. And you need some very precise movements to avoid taking damage to getting the third star coin. And if you mess up those two jumps at the end, yeah, that can be infuriating. Next up is Spine Coaster Connections in Superstar Road, which I'll probably revisit later on in the list. The whole level's gimmick is jumping from Spine Coaster to Spine Coaster, with pussies absolutely everywhere. The Spine Coasters go at ludicrous speeds, you barely get a chance to breathe, so it's very easy to slip right into a fuzzy. Sure, you can use a Fire Flower to take out the fuzzies, but it's surprisingly easy to run into their bloody awkward hitboxes, and unless you have insane reactions for the second and first star coin, you'll likely need to beat this level twice. Nothing spells hell quite like instant death chasing you throughout the level. The only way to get through this level is the raft that rides over the lava that slows down when an enemy lands on it. At any point where there's at least five enemies on the raft, it comes to a hole. Here's the problem. It's absolutely chucking it down with enemies. They're constantly dropping onto the raft, so not slipping into one is annoying. Yes, there's Koopas that can knock out a row of Goombas, but the second star coin needs a Koopa shell, and that can be very hard to aim. Also, did I mention that these fire stars are everywhere? Sure, it's very unlikely you're gonna fall into the lava, but it's bleeding hard not to take a hit in this level. I wouldn't have expected a level in World 4 to be this high on the list, but this level is a right pain. The main gimmick of this level is the bruises punching bars into you, and they come in at such awkward times. So don't believe me? Just watch. Oh for fuck's sake! Some of the most memorable levels in the new series is the level of the Spine Coasters, and yeah, getting those star coins on a platform that can go in insane speeds can be a serious pain. There's two of these levels in the game, and the worst of the two is the first of the two. Even when you're going slow on an uphill, it's tricky to time the jump to get to the first star coin, and if you're not careful, the momentum may catch you out, or even worse, you don't hit the P-switch in time, causing you to miss the second star coin as well. Not to mention for the final third of the level, Piranha Plants cut off a third of your platform, making things even more hectic, and considering the whole level is above a sea of poison, one error is going to be very painful for Luigi, especially if you mess up that last jump at the end. Why is there so many freaking fireballs? Seriously, these things are a right pain in the bum, and they come down randomly, so you always have to react quickly to avoid damage throughout the entire stage. And sometimes you'll need ninja reflexes to avoid taking damage. It also doesn't help the fact that most of the platforms rise and sink into the lava, which can make aiming this shell into the first star coin a right pain. The first star coin is even worse, since you have to break through two bricks, and if you're in a situation with a type fear and the platform dipping into the lava, Rip Luigi. Also, there's a secret exit up here, so you have to beat the level twice for full credit. Good luck, mate! No, seriously, the frickin' RNG of the fireballs means you will need luck. Often the hardest parts of the levels are getting the star coins, because you need to collect those sods to even get to the level of the star world, and let's just say there's a reason Peril is in its name. Once you hit that switch, you've got to absolutely leg it, as blocks will start crashing down after you. So take too long crouching under those blocks? Dead. Mess up any of these jumps? Dead. Run right into a block coin off your momentum? Dead. Any mistake in this level? Dead. Even this first star coin slowed down too much here? Dead. Yeah, that first star coin is a serious sod, and the second star coin is even tucked in a corner. Thankfully, the first star coin can go back and get it, because jumping on those water wings would be a serious pain otherwise. But this isn't the worst world star has to offer.
Oh yeah, you knew this level was gonna be on the list, and some of you are probably expecting this to be number one. Great Bars of Fire is often considered to be one of the hardest levels in the series, and for good reason. It's bloody shit. Because this level looks like something straight out of a Kaizo hack. The level is absolutely plastered with fire bars of differing speeds that are near impossible to dodge. So how do you beat it? Well, the word sprints in the level's name for a reason. You have to time when to get through the first fire bar and then sprint because if you do, you can avoid all of the fire. But just one mistake can result in your death and the first two star coins, if you mistime the jumps, can send you right into a fire bar. And when you finally get through all that, oh my god, what the f***? For the first star coin you get through whilst taking no more than one hit? Yeah, screw that. Yeah, in my opinion, Impossible Pendulum is the hardest level in the game because right off the back, you have to pass through rotating pendulums which requires near perfect timing to get through. Or you can just use a power up to be a way through. After that, you've got several tight jobs involving pendulums and thanks to Luigi's slipperiness, it's very easy to slide right into one of their deceptively large hitboxes. There is a red coin ring halfway through, but even that requires some really tight jobs to get them all in time. I mean, just look at how bloody close I was here. <laughs> It's also one of the few levels that just straight up has a troll at the end. This platform here looks like it might be hiding an entrance to the third star coin, and it's bloody tight getting in there, only to see that there isn't a third star coin in there. It's actually right at the end where you have to make a risky jump into a load of pendulums, and if you've already taken too much damage, well, that kind of sucks. Thank goodness you don't need the top of the flag for 100% completion, because I don't even know how you get through those pendulums without taking a hit. Anyway, this has been Spidinklin, and I think this is one of the hardest levels in any of the 2D Mario games. Oh.